Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about other exercise. So coming to this today's exercise, static structure analysis. In this we are going to determine the deflection at each joint of the truss under given loading conditions. So coming to the problem description, the truss bridges can span up to long distances and supports heavy weights without intermediate supports and they are economical to construct and are available in wide variety of styles. So in these problems we are going to consider the plain truss construction of wooden timbers which can be used in parallel to form bridges and they are given to determine the deflection at each joints of the truss under the given loading conditions. The conditions given are the material type is Douglas fill and the Young's modulus is 13.1 gigapascals, Poisson's ratio is 0.29, member cross section. So for this truss element, the member cross section dimensions are given as height of 6 cm, width of 6 cm. So this is the truss element, they are given each length of the um, element that is each length of the joint is 1 mm that is complete height is 1 mm and 1 point to 1 point the distance is also 1 meter the load acting at these points are 30 kilometers okay first we are going to design this truss and next we are going to determine the deflection at each and every joint okay so first open the ANSYS workbench file in the click the static structure as per the dimensions given in the figure we are going to design the truss element okay so keep uh, the dimensions also aside so that you have the idea so first step in the static structure is the engineering design so we need to assign the material and the properties given in this problem so first step is engineering design double click on engineering design so the it is of new element type so i am giving the name here that is douglas fill okay so it should have properties like Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. So directly go to linear ele element, linear elastic, isotropic. Just click and drag onto this new material. So that uh, at bottom the properties are loaded. The Young's modulus value they are given as 13.1 gigapascals. And the Young's modulus uh, Poisson's ratio is 0.29. So the Young's modulus is 13.1 but here we have the value in pascals so convert that gigapascals into pascal when you convert this 13.1 gigapascals into pascals we will get 131 e power 8 pascals so this is the conversion from gigapascals into pascals that is 131 e power 8 in pascals and the Poisson ratio value is they are given as 0.29 so type that value 0.29 enter so automatically the values are generated here when you enter this so this is how we are going to assign the material in the engineering materials engineering data next step so close this as you have assigned the material next is we are going to design the geometry as per the given dimensions okay so geometry in the right click click on edit design modeler geometry so in that we are going to design the sketch as they are given the member cross section so as per the last session also we have drawn the lines and we have assigned the cross section so in that same manner only in this exercise also we are going to do the same as it is okay so first draw the lines as per the dimensions next create the surface from sketches that is line from sketches create the line from sketches and assign the cross section to the geometry okay so design modeler is open now select x5 plane and click on look at the face okay 
so the units are in uh, meters check whether in which units the uh, modeler is there so go to units so there is an option in meters only so is it okay next we are going to draw the sketch just zoom out the sketch that is the meter that is the length or is of small so i'm going to zoom out as least as this so that we can get the geometry easily okay now go to sketching click on line okay so i'm taking this point as origin so from this point i'm going to draw this one triangle and on this side also i'm going to draw one another triangle okay so select this point draw a line next from that point draw another line like this next from this point to this point similarly from this point to this side and from this point to this line from this point to this point so we are done with this two triangles on either side now draw a horizontal line from this point to this point okay and there are in between also there are some lines okay so draw that one also so draw a vertical line and draw another vertical line like this okay next we are going to give the dimensions for this so go to dimensions click on horizontal now from this point to this point take the dimension similarly from this point to this point take the horizontal dimensions as it is as shown in the figure okay so we are done this next there is other vertical dimension like this so take the vertical select this line and this point you are going to get this line but here the line is of incline we need to convert it to directly horizontal line okay so here also this line is horizontal but it is of some inclined line now we need to change this so that horizontal inclined lines can be done by using the constraints option okay so here below the dimension there is constraint toolbar so click on constraint click on horizontal and select this line so that it is converted to horizontal similarly select the vertical and select this line it is converted to vertical okay so all the lines are converted into dark blue color means they are perfect in the drawing sketch so next step is we are going to give the exact dimensions as per the figure shown on the left side so in below there are detailed views so h1 h2 h3 h4 v5 so all this value should be changed to the original dimensions so click on each and every dimensions and change its value so h1 value we have got it as 1.3506 just click on it and give the value as 1 and click on enter okay so similarly next h2 that is also 1 enter next h3 it is also 1 enter h4 it is also 1 enter next v5 it is also 1 so click on v5 and click on 1 enter okay so this is how we are drawn the sketch like this okay so with the exact dimensions we have sketched this next step is we need to convert this sketch into line body so how to convert this line into line bodies so that option is can we get in concept so file bar file menu bar concept line from sketches so click on this option now select this sketch and click on apply okay so op after applying we need to generate the option so click on line right click and click on generate this is how we have generated the line here next at bottom we have got one part part comma one body so when you click on this we are going to get the line body in line body details view there is a option like cross section so it is not selected so we need to select the cross section also in the problem description they have given the member cross section dimensions like height and width 
so it is suitable for rectangle so we need to draw the rectangle cross section in the model okay so go to again concept click on cross section click on rectangle here we need to give the width and height so width is of 6 meters and height is of 6 meters and sorry 6 centimeters and width 6 centimeters so again go to units change the units to centimeter now give the 6 centimeters 6 centimeters okay so like this we are going to give the dimensions for the rectangle and rectangle cross section is created now we need to apply this cross section to the part part so click on line body go to cross section select this and click on rectangle okay so after applying this just again click on generate to update okay so cross section is applied to the line body now we need to see the line body that is cross section on each and every of these trusses so how to see that cross section solids so go to view click on cross section solids okay just move the work uh, workbench so that you can see the cross sections on each and every truss okay so this is a a cross section is applied on the line body okay so next step is we are going to apply the boundary conditions and we are going to solve the deflections at each and every joint of the truss okay so that process will be done in the next step that is in model and we will discuss about this model and how to apply the cross uh, boundary conditions for the line body and how to solve the deflections for each and every stress we will discuss in the next class thank you